Thanks, Kim and Allie. Leading up to Valentine's Day, we are highlighting different things about Minnesota that we love, and I get to go first. You guys know that I love my family. I love restaurants, but you may not know about my love for the Minnesota art scene. You can see it all over our home. Maybe. There we go. Right when you walk in the front door, I think you can tell that we love art. We found this, Patrick Pryor, artist at Northrop King. Glass art all over the front door. Even our kitchen here, the tiles are all hand-painted by Mercury Mosaics, which is a Northeast Minneapolis company. Come on, let's go upstairs. When you come in the bedroom, this is a piece that we discovered from an artist at the State Fair Art Show. He actually makes this using the smoke from a giant fire. We also love student art. This is from the MGAD Art Sale. This is a, a local graphic designer and even in the bathroom. Don't tell the artist, but that piece was supposed to be hung horizontally instead of vertically. So we have art all over the basement too. Look at this. Isn't that fun? This is from an artist in Northrop King, Eddie. We thought this was perfect for the downstairs area where the kids were playing. And then this is another artist that we found at uh, North, Northrop King. This is Eleanor McGuff. But our first love when it comes to art is glass art. This is from an artist in East Bethel, Joseph Becker. We actually bought this from an art fair in Milwaukee. Isn't this cool? Like glass art, it's so physical but so beautiful. We started just by collecting glass paperweights, something that we could afford. Just thought they were kind of magical, the different layers of glass. This is an Anoka artist, Robinson Scott. Aren't the colors on this amazing? So Minnesota does have a huge glass art scene, including a gorgeous new facility in South St. Paul called Vandalia Glass Works. And one of the owners, Bryce Borkheis, is with us this morning. Bryce, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Uh, tell us, what, why do you think we have such a large glass art scene here? There's so many world-class glass artists who live right in the Twin Cities area. I think it just comes down to the facilities. I mean, you have a couple different places like myself who offer um, equipment rental to the glass artists in the metro area here. You guys at uh, Vandalia Glassworks do all sorts of classes for people. Uh, and. Tell me, like, what is that experience like when you have a newcomer coming in trying to learn how to, uh, uh, how to blow glass? It's hard, isn't it? It's actually, it is, it is. It's actually very intimate, if you will. You're always working one-on-one -on -one with your instructor, so you're never thrown out in, into just a pool of people. So you always have the guidance of your instructor hover, hovering over you 100% of the time. Now, in that story, I had mentioned that we started collecting glass by going with paperweights because they're affordable and still beautiful. That is often how you uh, start teaching people too, right? Correct, yep. Paperweights are a good way to learn more of the fundamentals so that you can then apply more of those practices later on. Cool, well Bryce, uh, you're gonna be uh, actually making a piece for us throughout the show. You're gonna work on a vase for us, so we'll show people a little bit about the process. And we're really glad that you spent Absolutely. some- Absolutely. Yeah, we're so glad to have you with us here on the show this morning. We'll be checking in with Bryce throughout as he uh, makes a beautiful vase for us. Very cool. Uh, that fire that mm -hmm. they uh, uh, make the glass in is about, I don't know, 2,000 degrees. Now, you're, Super hot. for you being into glass art like that, have you ever taken classes before? I've, I have made a couple pieces before, okay. Okay. and uh, it's really heavy. Yeah. Mm. You'll see it when Bryce works with it. It looks Labor like it's- Labor intensive? Yeah, but it looks like it's liquid, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Because it is, it's melted mm. as you're melting it, but it's so heavy. And so hot. Kind of so. challenging, I'm sure, it's too. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Really cool. Fun, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. and your house, my goodness, it's like a museum. We'll have to go and look at <laughs> all the art. I definitely will not be bringing my kids over to your place. <laughs> kids are fine. It's all kid-friendly. Okay.